What is up, Silingan? Uh, today, we are going to talk about the basic requirements you need to prepare in order to reserve a unit. Once you have decided to get a property, a condo or a house and lot, uh, you will have to sign a buyer's info sheet. Ibibigay yon ng mga developers, uh, care of the sellers, or directly to you. Okay? And then, you have to prepare your TIN, your tax identification number, kasi very important na yun ngayon. BIR has to know that you have properties na. Next is two valid IDs, ikaw tsaka yung spouse mo. Dapat meron. Or your co-borrower. If for example, kulang yung sweldo mo, you can get a co-borrower, co-buyer, na maging kasama sa contract para kayong dalawa ang magbabayad. And then, eventually, you'll get approved by the bank. Needed kasi yun ng mga, ng mga banks and pag-ibig para ma-approve ka kasi kailangan nilang malaman na capable ka to pay. So you have to have a co-borrower. Next is a post-dated check. Kailangan yun para sa down payment mo. You need to pay through your checks. Bigay mo na lang kay bank yung pera mo. Tapos si bank na yung magbabayad sa check mo. Para diretso na. No need ka nang mag punta sa office to pay physically in cash. The next one is birth certificate or marriage certificate if you are married. If dalawa kayo na single na co-buyers co or co-borrowers, for example, boyfriend and girlfriend, uh, birth certificate muna. Tapos eventually, when you get married in the future, before yung loan, you can have the marriage certificate submitted to the office. Next is proof of income. So ito yun. Kaya kailangan ni, ni bank na malaman na capable ka to pay. So they need to see your proof of income. Certificate of employment with compensation, job contract with compensation and allowances, and your latest three months payslip. So, i-assess ka ng developers uh, during the reservation if capable ka to pay during the, the uh, amortization uh, portion, loan part. Okay? Kasi, if hindi nila ma-assess yun, for example, minimum gross monthly salary kailangan ng isang project is say 40,000 tapos sweldo mo is only 20,000 tapos in-approve ka ng developer during that time of loan hahabulin ka nila hahabulin ka ng developer hahabulin ka ng bank na kulang yung sweldo mo so right at the get go it is very much convenient for convenience sake na may co-borrower ka or co-buyer or at least yung salary mo tumpak sa minimum gross monthly income na kailangan ng isang project. And then once you have that, the developers will give you a term sheet kung saan makikita mo yung um, total contract price, reservation fee, lahat ng data ng babayarin nandun, amortization sheet, lahat ng breakdowns, ng monthly payment mo and reservation agreement para doon final na yung reservation mo sa property na yun and then finally the contract to sell okay bibigay yun ng developer para may contract na kayo na sold na yung property okay so yun lang good luck sa mga future investment nyo, uh, future investments nyo and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or comment below for uh, any recommendations or whatever. Just comment below. Bye. See you.